Now, as we said, one of the nice things about the async task is that it gives us a thread pool, right? It actually reuses resources for us. One thing to be aware of is that uh, as the Android platform has evolved, there's been a lot of inconsistency in the way async tasks uh, executes processes. Basically, the thread pool that it uses under the covers has actually varied quite a bit between different Android versions. And the issue comes up is that when you've got an async task and you're actually firing off a series of tasks for it to execute, what exactly happens if you fire off the second, third, and fourth tasks before the ones before them finish? Well, initially when Android was first released, so it'd be kind of Android 1.0 through 1.5, uh, and there, there aren't many of those devices left out there anymore, uh, they always ran sequentially so that it wouldn't start running the next task until all the operations from the original task were finished. And then starting with Android 1.6, up until fairly recently, uh, Android 2.2, they started using a different thread pool that, if you started queuing a bunch of tasks, it may run some of them in parallel, uh, which in some ways would make sense, particularly if there's something that are being bound by the network or so forth. But if you would test your code against the APIs before that, uh, things may, that used to work may suddenly not work well anymore. So the decision was made that starting with 2.3, that that default behavior would go back to running them sequentially. So what happens now is that going forward, starting with Android 3.0 and soon to release Android 4.0, they've actually given us an alternative. Now, if you still just call execute, the behaviors are dictated by that operating system, right? Whether they're, they're uh, excuse me, by the operating system version, whether they're run serially or in parallel. But if you use a different method, execute on executor, you can actually specify to it what behavior do you want. If you want to make sure that they run sequentially, then you pass in the serial executor. If you want them to run in parallel, then there is a thread pool executor. And all you do is, all the work you do is exactly like you did before, all your class implementation. The only thing it changes is that after you create your async task instance, you call execute on executor, and then this first parameter here specifies the exact behavior that you're looking for.